Good morning, Happy Hippos. Today we're going to read another story about the big bad wolf. Remember yesterday when he was chasing the little pigs because he really wanted to have a snack and he wanted the piggies for a snack? They had three different houses, but the one made out of straw fell down when he blew on it. The one made out of sticks fell down when he blew on it, but the one that was made out of bricks was nice and strong, and the big bad wolf couldn't blow it down. Well, in this story, we're going to learn of a different explanation that the big bad wolf has about why he was blowing on their houses. The title of the book is Blow Your Nose, Big Bad Wolf. Look at the wolf. What is he doing in the picture? He's sneezing. When you sneeze, you kind of blow your air out. Maybe that's what he was really doing in yesterday's story. Let's see. Blow your nose, big bad wolf. Once upon a time, there lived a mommy pig who had three little pigs. But little pigs don't stay little for long. It's time for you to build houses of your own, said Mommy Pig. Aw, Mom. What? A two. And please use a tissue, added Mommy Pig. You'll make us all sick. Mommy Pig gave the pig some tissues and money and sent them on their way. The first little pig met a girl with a wagon full of straw. So he bought the straw, built himself a house, and went inside for a nice nap. The second little pig met a man with a wagon full of sticks. So she bought the sticks, built herself a house, and went inside to watch TV. The third little pig met a family with a wagon full of bricks. So he bought the bricks, built himself a house, and went inside for a snack. Now what do we know about these three houses? The straw house, the stick house, the brick house. Which house is strong enough that won't fall down when the wolf blows on it? Yesterday we learned it was the brick house. I think it might be the same in this story. What do you think? There was a wolf who lived nearby. His name was Big Bad, but he was actually really nice. Big Bad had a nasty cold with a horrible runny nose. What he needed was a tissue to blow his nose with. He was on his way to buy some when he saw a new straw house. He peeped through the window and saw a little pig with a big box of tissues. Big Bad knocked politely on the door. Little pig, little pig, can I come in? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, squealed the little pig. Oh, please, sniffed Big Bad. All I want is a, a, a tissue. Big Bad sneezed a sneeze so big that it blew down the house of straw. Eek, squealed the little pig, and he ran next door. Do you think the big bad wolf meant to knock down that straw house? He didn't blow on it on purpose. He just sneezed on it. It was an accident. Not like in the story yesterday, where he definitely blew on the house on purpose. Big Bad followed him to the house of sticks. He knocked politely on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, can I come in? Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, said the two little pigs. Oh, please, sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, a, a tissue. 
and he sneezed a gigantic, snotty sneeze. It was so gigantic that it blew down the house of sticks. Yuck, squealed the little pigs, and they ran next door. Big Bad followed them to the house of bricks. He knocked politely on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, can I come in? Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, squealed the three little pigs. Oh, don't be mean, sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, a, a tissue. And he sneezed the biggest, snottiest, slimiest sneeze he had ever sneezed. But the house of bricks did not blow down. The three little pigs were delighted. They danced around singing, We've got tissues, you've got none, you're the sneezy snotty one. And that's when Big Bad got really mad. Then I'll come down the chimney and get a tissue myself, he roared. But as he started climbing up the drain pipe, the three little pigs put water on the fire. If Big Bad Snot Face Wolf comes down here, they chuckled, we'll boil his bottom. But Big Bad was so quick that when he came tumbling down the chimney, he landed in nice warm water. With a big splash, the fire went out. Please don't gobble us up, squealed the three little pigs. I don't want to eat you, sniffled Big Bad. I just needed a tissue. And before he could cover his mouth, he sneezed a big wet sneeze all over the three little pigs. Gross, they all cried. sneezed the three little pigs. If only they had given Big Bad a tissue, they wouldn't have caught his cold. The pigs passed around the tissues and made sure they gave some to the wolf. Big Bad settled down in his nice warm bath, blew his nose, and started to feel much better. And that is the end. I guess the pigs were afraid that the wolf was going to eat them and that's why they didn't answer the door. But I suppose the wolf could have said, can I please have a tissue? That way the pigs would know what he needed. And remember, whenever you have to sneeze, you can sneeze into a tissue, blow your nose into the tissue, or you can sneeze right here into your elbow so that your germs don't get everywhere. You go like this, ah-choo. You know how else you can keep your germs from getting to other people? You can wash your hands. Watch the video about washing your hands too. Get that soap all over so that you're nice and clean. Have a great day, happy hippos.